Hey all, finally we are here with uh, a quick demo video of what we have been doing with the Shika LMS. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for an update for quite some time now and we hope you will be happy with what we have been doing. So what you see in front of you right now is the backend LMS dashboard. You can see how many courses uh, are there in the system, how many students have enrolled, how many enrolls are pe enrollments are pending. You can also see the activity the students are doing. <coughs> You'll see that there are two graphs here which shows activities versus sessions. You'll also see most active students here and some, some of the popular courses here. Now, the main objective of this demo is to show you the new backend course builder and some really exciting course types that we have introduced here, which we, which we are sure will you know, make you really happy. So what you see here on the backend is uh, I've created one course and I'm now going to go into the managed training material. So this is actually the course drag and drop course builder that we have. <coughs> and to make things easy, uh, I have already pre-created a few uh, lessons and modules. So what you see here in gray is the module. And uh, this is kind of the module or section under which your lessons will be residing. And you can create multiple modules like this. So, and it's as easy as creating module. Let's say I want to create a module related to payment systems. So remember that the module is simply a container and your actual lesson is going to go under that module. So let's now create a lesson. So what you see in front of you is uh, just some basic details that we need about the lesson. Let's say I'm going to have a course about configuring the PayPal plugin. Uh, you can choose to give a description and an image if you want to it's not important uh, it's not compulsory that you do uh, you can also choose how many attempts the grading do you want it graded based on the highest attempt average attempts etc you can choose if uh, there is has to be some eligibility criteria to take this course or rather take this lesson maybe you need to say that you know you have to be completing these before you can take this uh, if you said that to none then obviously there is no eligibility and if this is com course then you need to decide whether this course should be considered in the overall passing this will only apply for quizzes and scom courses because uh, marking is applicable in only in these areas next you need to choose the lesson format <coughs> so this is the surprise for you you will see that there are quite a few formats available uh, there is scom of course uh, tjscom is an internal format which is a secret you'll know about that later and uh, some cool goodies are coming your way when we reveal that some a few months down the line but this won't be there in the first version uh, scom obviously a zip file you can upload a zip file uh, tin can this is the hosted tin can solution provided by scom.com once you upload the file uh, the data will be synced to the scom cloud then video so you have an option to upload a video or embed a video url from youtube then you have an option to upload a PPT as well as documents like PDF, Doc and DocX. All of these will also be converted to uh, you know viewable courses and we are doing a lot of tracking with that as well. We will show you how that works in a while. Next up, this is another surprise. We have a very beautiful uh, HTML course builder for you. So let's just take a look at that. So what you see here is our drag and drop course builder. <clears throat> so you can use the widgets available here to modify your course. So let's say I want I, I don't like this header. I want to get rid of it. I'm going to delete it. Now let's see which are the headers I have with me. So I like I love this header. I'm just going to set that up. And editing is just edit in place with course about editing let's say so it's as easy as this other cool thing is that you can even image handling is done really nicely here so let's just upload a photo and you'll see i can zoom in zoom out and i can decide at how i want the image to be cropped in the real lesson so you'll see that the image has been cropped in place you can choose from a variety of layouts. There's a lot of variety of layouts available. You can insert a video. Note that, uh, however, the, any videos that you insert here are not tracked. 
uh, especially as a video but uh, you will have basic time tracking on HTML courses uh, but you won't have things like plays and pauses and resume support for this so you'll see there's a lot of beautiful widgets in here and uh, beautiful content pieces that you can use to build your course uh, you can also include Google Maps in fact and the whole point of this is to make content creation really easy for you so you don't need to know any HTML everything is drag and drop uh, everything is just drag and drop easy that's the point so this is our awesome HTML course builder I hope you like it so you'll see that we also show a preview right here you can choose whether you want to edit it or save and exit so I'm going to save it now so I have uh, some courses as I said already created here so that we can quickly show you previews of how this works in the front end so let's head over to the front end you'll see that uh, I have only one course in the system so this is actually a nice Pinterest type pin view but since there is only one we are only saying one course obviously you'll see that there is one like to this course and two students have enrolled for it I am right now logged in Now what you see here is uh, all the contents of the course. You'll also see course progress on the right hand side, some basic data, who is the creator, whether it's a free or paid course, uh, if there, it has a certified term, who else is enrolled for the course and things like that. Now you'll see that against each course, you'll see when it was last started, when it was last accessed, how much time I have already spent in viewing this course and how many attempts I have made. So if I click on this attempt, it will kind of give me a quick preview of uh, what those attempts contain and how much time I spent on each or in case there are scores then the scores will be shown as well so now let's see how this looks so you'll see that uh, the course is shown on the front end and now you'll also see that it will track how much time I'm spending in viewing this course so let's say I'm reading everything properly and making sure I've understood everything and once I'm ready I can close it you'll see that the attempt has updated and the time spent has also updated so we are tracking every minute your students are spending on the course next let's see how a PPT lesson looks like so we have integrated the box API uh, to integrate a really beautiful box viewer uh, so that we can show you and uh, present slides and documents in a very nice way uh, you'll see that even uh, prop presentations, even in case of presentations, we are storing uh, your progress and letting you continue from where you left off. So you'll see that typically this was only a feature found in SCOM courses, but we have brought this to PPTs, PDFs, uh, even PowerPoints. So you'll see that it's telling me you have viewed one slide out of the quick to cut webinar PowerPoint lesson out of total 51 slides do you want to resume or do you want to continue from the beginning so let me resume from where I left off so right now what you see here is a awesome viewer you can see the slides here and uh, the system will completely track how much you're seeing and how much of it how much time you have spent how many slides you've seen everything is tracked you have the choice to choose the you know animation the admin can also turn this off and choose a default animation so this is the nice fade in effect just showing off some of the nice animations we have for this so carousel this is just pure show off as you must have realized a book view flip 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 are you liking it pop or if you prefer a normal PDF then you can also go with a normal PDF view so it's completely up to you so you'll see I'm scrolling now this is a normal PDF for me then I can also zoom in and zoom out and see everything in a normal view of course if it was in a fade situation then zoom out would have been just showing you one slide so this is uh, the PowerPoint viewer that we have. So let me just go to slide eight and I'm gonna exit now. You'll see that the time spent has updated and uh, the attempt has not registered right now uh, since I've not completed my presentation, but ideally the attempt will register. Uh, this is something we are working on. 
now now let's look at a sample word document as a lesson <coughs> you'll see that this is a one pager it's two pages actually so you'll see that you can see the sample word document you can of course zoom in as well and you can again choose the animation so typically for a normal book like this or a normal uh, document you will want to use the scroll or normal pdf kind of a uh, display of course this is it this needs to be fixed it just needs to say normal scrolling view now if i scroll right down to the bottom it will register that you know i have completed viewing this document so it will also register that i have completed things or not so you'll see that the attempt has been registered in this case but in the above case i had not completed it but uh, we will be showing attempts here just that when you click on it it will show as incomplete in the final version now let's try looking at a scom course you'll see that my last attempt was incomplete but since i need to demonstrate i'll just start from the beginning so this is a simple scom quiz that i'm going to take how many letters in the alphabet 26 oh i'm right that's cool how many pieces on a chessboard? 32. Oh wow, I got that right. How many keys on a piano? 88. Oh my god. I'm gonna win this one. So there it is, I've passed. Now there is a bug in this COM course. It does not let us know that I have completed the course. So it's shown as incomplete. But it does update the score uh, when I look at uh, <coughs> the attempt. So you'll see that the score is 100. And uh, You'll see that all that is being tracked. So next up, uh, let's take a look at a video lesson. So even in case of a video lesson, we are tracking the time you have spent in viewing it. And we are also allowing you to continue where you left off. So that's another cool thing about this. So I'm going to resume from where I left off. Specifically, so you'll see that this is the video lesson I can also go full screen and we're also going to have a immersive mode where it can just go a real browser wise scroll full screen so you'll see that I've viewed 23 seconds right now and I'm going to exit specifically so we will cover what exit at this point when to use them and how to set up the zones in quick to cut You'll see that it has recorded uh, the time spent and if I launch it again it will ask me whether I want to start so you'll see that it's showing me I have watched a few seconds of the video and I can continue accessing it from where I left off as well. So that's the beauty again video lessons are tracked perfectly. The time spent is tracked as well as my progress with the video is tracked as well. Next up what do I have here there is a config in the PayPal plugin that's the course we made. Uh, that's just a HTML course. Uh, just just take a look at that. So this is the course we made. You'll see it looks beautiful and a nice, well laid out HTML. And you have full control on how it is seen. Again, we are tracking the time you're spending viewing this course. And uh, as a general so tip, what I would recommend is that you'll see that I spent 15 seconds in this, and I can click on this to see the details of my attempt. So since I completed it, now in case of HTML, we can't really register whether it's completed or not. So by default when you view it it is marked as completed but in all other cases in case of documents in case of scom courses uh, videos we are going to mark the course as complete when you actually finish viewing it so this is the quick look at uh, the lesson builder and the front end lesson demos i'm sure you'll love this we would love your comments on this video and this blog please feel free to comment and uh, give us your feedback about this just before I sign up, you'll see that my course progress is updated. I have completed 66% of the course now. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, till the next update, goodbye from Tech Joomla.